How's it going, David from Compo Investments? Well, today a new record has been broken, and that is in comic books. And it's pretty crazy. I watched the auction live with uh, a bunch of you guys. And, but yeah, so let me just show you what we are talking about. A Fantasy 15, first appearance of Spider-Man, Peter Parker, all that stuff. Very key book. This is a 9.6, so highest grade. Not single highest grade. There's four of them at a 9.6. And it sold for $3.6 million. The previous record was held by an Action Comics number one a couple years ago. An 8.5, which was the second highest grade, sold for $3.2 million. But this one just beat that record, 3.6. It started out the day at 2.8, and then as the auction ran its course, ended up at $3.6 million, which is just crazy that comics are going for that price these days. So yeah, it was sold by Heritage, um, and today, earlier this morning, and it looks super nice, super clean. Like I said, though, there is four of them in this grade, so it is not the single highest grade. Super nice. Looks like a little bit of tanning around, you know, around it, but just other than that, so nice looking. There's like a little colorful ache up there. Heritage does have good pictures. I will give them that. But yeah, so in case you're wondering what the previous one sold for, a 9.6 sold way back in the day on Comic Connect for $1.1 million. That was about 10 years ago. So in 10 years, it has gone a little over three times. So that is not a bad investment, right? Yeah, there's other investments like I think Apple in the same time period went up like 10x. But that's Apple. That's, everyone knows that's like amazing, right? But other stocks, you know... 10%, like maybe you would get like maybe double your money if you got a good stock. Probably more like, you know, 50%, 70%, 80% of your money in 10 years. I mean, the S&P 500 goes up 10% a year. So, yeah, maybe you could, you know, double your money. But this is three times your money. So it's beating the S&P 500. It's beating the Dow Jones, all that kind of stuff. It just goes, and this, at the time when, I believe when this one sold, it was the single highest grade. I don't know. There might have been one other one. But, like I said, there's, well, of course. Like I said, there's four out of nine, six. This is the census, and this will tell us how many there is. Yep, four out of nine, six. These are restored. That doesn't really matter as much because to restore a book, you have to like take apart the book, add in a bunch of pieces. So it's just like a, a Frankenstein version of it. This looks nice, right? You know, it has drawings on it. Like someone, when you do color touch and replace pieces, sometimes people draw on it. And there's some really good artists that can actually match it perfectly. So I, don't, would, I wouldn't really take these as like true ones. But yeah, there's four and a nine six. I think I'm pretty sure back when this sold, there's either it was a single highest grade or there's one other one sold for 1.1 million dollars. So yeah, three times your money. Yeah, so the record has been broken. Most expensive comic book ever sold, and it was a Fantasy 15 uh, first appearance of Spider-Man. All right, have a good day.